Hi everyone, welcome back to Barbie Dolls of the Week. This week I have a really great lineup of dolls for you, and um, what I'm doing is, uh, the last time I did a Barbie video it was kind of like four classic 80s dolls, but they were all the Caucasian dolls, um, and there's certainly others I could have added to that, but today I want to do some classic African American dolls from the 80s, because I have quite a few. Um, and I'm going to show you the ones in boxes, and I may also show some out of boxes, but let's get started. So, first of all, the one that, to me, kind of started it all. Now, there had been African-American dolls since the late 60s, uh, including Kara and Julia and some of the others. But where one was actually called Barbie is this 1980 Black Barbie. Um... She is a really pretty doll, and I think she's really gone up in value lately. I'm not sure why. You know, they did the repro one, which I love, and have two of those. One at uh, one here and one somewhere else. Uh, but anyway, I love both dolls. I think they're different. Oh, the other one is obviously inspired by this one. Um, here's a closer picture of the drawing, which I love the drawings from back then. Uh, I don't know who did them, but they did a good job. Really good. Um, so yeah, now she is still in the box. Her box top has been taped because it tore off at some point. I don't remember if I did that, the taping, or somebody else did. But anyway, um, so yeah, she's the classic doll that started uh, the 80s off for Black Barbies. And um, after that, we had dolls like Twirly Curls and Pink. I'm sorry, I said Twirly Curls. That's not who this is. Pink and Pretty. So Pink and Pretty is box date uh, 81. And of course you know how much I love Pink and Pretty and all the different drawings and things showing different looks with these um, four or five pieces that she came with. Uh, so just wonderful. And this style has really skyrocketed in value in recent years as well. So I'm not sure. I never can quite tell why certain dolls do at certain times but when they do they do and so I'm glad to have her I do not have either of these two dolls out of the box now some of the others I'm going to show you out of the box I mean in the box I do have out of the box and actually they're right up here if you look some of them so yeah up here on this top row of loose dolls or d-box dolls is all Asian and African American also some there are some Asian ones in here and just other various ones so gorgeous doll beautiful face uh, I love 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 this outfit one of my favorite outfits of the 80s okay so that's that one and then let's see we will move on to magic curl and by then they had started doing and this is 82 box date they had started doing, um, actually it's 81 box date, out in 82, excuse me. They had started doing photos instead of drawings. So, you know, I like the photos, but I did honestly miss the drawings when they stopped doing them. But, now they did do drawings down here, so at least there were still some. Showing how to, you know, reinvigorate the hair. If You, you could curl it, straighten it, and curl it again, so... I've seen them, and I've got uh, Caucasian ones of that doll in various forms. And, you know, this isn't the, the most exciting dress, but I always love the simplicity and, of course, the fact that it's not pink uh, is a wonderful plus. So, yeah, I love this doll. You know, Magic Curl, if you're a longtime viewer, Magic Curl is one of my all-time favorites. You know, and it's one of the very first dolls I bought. I'm not positive what the first one was, but that could have been it because... You know, I was always looking for something different and unique, and that was certainly different and unique. Okay, now let me show you this one next, if I can get it out. I've got several more dolls in this wonderful group. Um, let's see what the box date is on this one. 82, it says. Okay, so this is Twirly Curls Barbie, and you're probably familiar with her, and this twirly uh, apparatus that helps you make the braids... And in this case, since it's an African-American doll, they also have an African-American little girl here. And I think that's great that they pictured various children. I don't think it has to be an African-American 
child only, but I think it would be nice if they had a couple children of different races. But anyway, as long as they had this doll and this child, it still looks great. Um, I just think it'd be nice to mix it up a bit. So, yeah, she's got that beautiful and very, I think, recognizable pink dress. Now, this one looks like it's had a little bit of fading over the years. It almost looks a little more coral color. And some of them are more pink, so, you know, it just varies. And it depends with who kept what in the sun over the years. And, of course, I try not to keep dolls in the sun. I mean, I open the drapes, for instance, in here, or the curtains, once in a while, but not a lot. And then I've got shades and drapes or curtains. So, um, right now they're open because I'm doing the video. But, um, yeah, this is not usually any dolls in the sun and this this doll these dolls you're seeing here are not kept in this room anyway um, but yeah this is really nice because it had long hair you could really do a lot with it and again they show you in the pictures some of what you could do i just wonder how successful kids were in making these kind of styles i don't know some probably better than others some had a natural flair for it i'm sure um, now the next doll is also, let me see here. I think this one is box date 83, but I can't see it. It's white on like pink, so can't really see it, but I'm sure you recognize who this is. This is Crystal Barbie. Now, I haven't checked her um, value recently to see if she's gone up quite a bit because she's a lot like the pink and pretty, and they're only a couple years apart. So, a uh, same face mold, I believe. And she's obviously new in the box. Um, great dress as always. Great boa. And here's a picture of it. And you know, there's a... It says she shines with glamour, Crystal Barbie. Um, she's the one that has these great shoes with the kind of sparkly look to them. It's supposed to be crystal, but of course it's plastic or rubber. Um, she's got her jewelry as usual, the superstar jewelry, which don't forget, by the way, if you ever need that replacement jewelry and you want to get some, uh, Martin from Switzerland does these pieces in four different colors. He does a great job. Uh, so you can find Martin Jasker online. And I hope, by the way, to have Martin on an upcoming video to show us some of his collection because he has a wonderful Barbie collection. Um, again, this is Crystal Barbie, African-American version. Okay, and then we move on to a doll that I was one of the four classic 80s dolls I showed last time, but this is the African-American version, of course, and this is Peaches and Cream Barbie from the 80s. This is box date 84, so it probably came out in 85. Um, yeah, I guess it could have been late 84. You just never know when they start showing up in the stores. But look at all you could do with her dress and all those, um, you know, folds of fabric. And this is so pretty and billowy. And I love that it was orangish, peachy color because it's not pink. Just something different. I like pink in a lot of cases. Like, you know, one of my other favorites that I should have brought uh, is Day to Night Barbie. You know, one of my top five dolls, really, of the 80s. And um, it's in pink, obviously. Uh, and I've got the African-American version up there. You can like, see her. I think she's right in here. So, um, yeah, but this one has the little orange flower around the waist, that iridescent kind of bodice, and this wonderful fabric that you see on the boa and the dress. And, you know, they had... Of course, they didn't do a peaches and cream can. I think they should have. I think there should have been a can with every set. Uh, that's just my opinion. But here they show her with Day to Night, which came out, I believe, the same year or the next year, uh, can in the African-American version. So they look great together. Uh, and it's funny because, you know, his cummerbund is actually kind of iridescent pink, but in this case, it's almost like the peach from the dress is shining on it and showing a little bit of peach in it. Uh, but yeah, they look great together. And look what they did in her hair. I've got one of these or some of these around, including one in a doll right here's hair. I never know what to do with them. I mean, you know, their hair is already put up. So 
I don't generally do anything with it, but you certainly could, especially if you're more adventurous than I am with these kind of rats. Uh, you have to be real careful. They're going to look kind of garish. Um, so yeah, she is beautiful, isn't she? And I don't think her value has gone up quite a bit like some of the others, so it surprises me that she wouldn't. But I'm not sure if it's because it's that, that face mold is not as popular as the one on Crystal and... Um, Pink and pretty, but I'm, that I'm not sure. Okay, one more doll for today of the box dolls. And that is 1986 box date superhero Barbie. Um, this is, of course, one that you can do so much with as far as the hair. And they've got um, some of those pictured as with some of the others. It says, place hair in the styling barrette. Twist hair round and round, push and set hairstyle in place. Now, I have to admit, I've never actually tried that or done anything with that because I don't have one of these out of the box, I don't think. I mean, I know I don't have it up there, but if it's hiding somewhere among this horde of dolls, it could be, but I'm not aware of it. But, um, I don't know, has anyone really experienced that and done much? I mean, when you look here... Oh, it looks like there's a lot you can do, and some of it's not the most flattering looks in the world, like this. Don't care for that one, but it's a look. <laughs> now, there is a lot of people that talk about these type of outfits online that, you know, especially when they take it out of the box, let's say you just took this one out now, um, it starts falling apart quickly because the, that pleathery stuff is so old. I mean, you think about it, this is like 86, what did I say, 86? I can't tell if that's an 85 or 86. But anyway, let's just say 86 for a minute. Um, you know, you're talking about 35 years ago. So, yeah, it's a long time that that pleather has been sitting there. And it's not exactly the best material over a long period of time. So, I'm going to pause the video for a minute and get a few of these out of the box. Okay, I've got a few to show you out of the box, excuse me, and take her off the stand, here we go, okay, so I can kind of fluff this dress out. Uh, I forgot it has an underlay, so you know there's this solid underlay under here that's kind of a nylon, feels like, or something. Um, still got her ring, but she doesn't seem to have... Uh, or she doesn't have, uh, let me see in the box, the one, yeah, she doesn't come with a necklace, which is unfortunate. I think it would have looked nice, a little necklace, and she doesn't come with earrings. So, um, let me show you the one in the box, and the doll out of the box. Okay. And then, um, by the way, she came with this little deal, too, where you could have the towel, so that's for when you do her hair. And I forgot to show you the back. Uh, she has a purple barrette available, by the way. So she came with all those little accessories to help with her hair when she was do she was doing her hair. Um, so here's a closer look at her face. This, for some reason, this reminds me of like the Hart family mom in a way. Um, like this was her older sister or something. Uh, this is like very mom. I always thought of this as a mother looking figure, I mean not figure, <laughs> doll slash the dress seems like she would have a little baby. So I just think she's adorable. Um, I've always wondered why they made her afro so much smaller than the Caucasian. I think this would have been nicer, even bigger, but I still like it a lot. You know, I, I, there's nothing I dislike about this doll, to be honest. I just wish they would have even given her a little bit more for the necklace and such. But other than that, I just really like her. Let me move a couple things. And then, let's see, let's go to this one. I've got um, Crystal Barbie to show you in the African-American version. And she is just a beauty. And she's got, um, I don't know if these are the original rubber bands. They kind of look like it, so I'm not going to mess with that a lot. But you can see they're still there. They just um, probably, yeah, they feel like they're going to fall apart. So I'm going to leave it because I don't want them to fall apart. But she's got her necklace, her jewelry, I mean her earrings, um, and her ring. So she is all set for a night on the town. I mean, isn't that a gorgeous doll? I've just always loved some of these. They're just, 
they're just gorgeous. And I always liked these better than the Caucasian for some reason. Um, I just think they were beautiful and they're different. And it's not your average blonde Barbie, which I do like, but I just like these better. And of course, this last one I'm going to show you today is Peaches and Cream uh, that we saw here. Now here in the box, obviously her hair is pulled back and a lot different in look. I actually put the barrette in at some point for this one, um, and I don't know. See, that's what I mean. To me, it just kind of looks there. I'd, I, it fell down some. I had it up higher, like maybe that, but I think it's so out of proportion size-wise for her head. I mean, who wears a barrette that big? But, you know, it's supposed to be... The, kid, the child would have to been able to have it in their fingers, you know, so that's partly why they had to make that bigger, I think. Um, but, yeah, her... Dress is in good condition still, and these are, I think these are all three out of the box, but they weren't ever really played with, so they've just been displayed, and I hope they stay in good condition for a very long time, but she's got gorgeous hair, I uh, could probably use a little brushing, but yeah, isn't she beautiful? So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this beautiful group of, uh, let's see, what was it, six or eight dolls that I showed you. Oops, before I drop them. I try not to drop them and hurt damage them. I guess there was seven I showed you. So between six and eight. But, you know, I just wanted to show you some of the beautiful um, African-American dolls that Mattel did in the early 80s and in the mid-80s. So these were all between 80 and 86 uh, time frame. So um, it was a very, you know, and, and, I, and like I've said before, where I live, that was not hard to find these dolls. I've bought them myself. I mean, not these literal ones, but I've got some different ones over the years. And I could go to any store and find them because we had a pretty diverse township and a diverse big city. So, you know, it just wasn't an issue. I know some areas it was very difficult to find African-American dolls. So it led to the perception that Mattel didn't do very many. And that just isn't the case. Now, uh, then comes the conversation I've had with you guys before about um, were the faces the most accurate and and in some cases no no absolutely no not when you have you know dolls like this that you know the face is uh, maybe more accurate although I feel like this is a bit cartoony looking um, but I still like it that's why I bought it but when you look at something like this I think it's just much more accurate looking um, and so I'm glad Mattel has gone that route and does uh, not just diverse colors, but also, oops, let me not drop this phone. Um, there we go. <laughs> but just, uh, oh, you know, more, more representative faces as well. So with that, I thank you for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed this, and I will see you on the next Barbie Dolls of the Week.